Hey everybody, this is Alvin Brown, CEO and founder of the Center for Healing and Peak Performance and Integrated Peak Performance Services. I'm also the author of Journey to Personal Greatness, Mind, Body, and Soul, A Blueprint for Life, Balance, and Self-Mastery, available at all your major bookstores, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, Amazon, and in Canada, Chapters Indigo Online. Also, I created, and how appropriate for this segment, the journal, Journey to Personal Greatness Journal. And it's a great addition. You should have a journal in your library. You should have many journals because you've been working with them for many years. They're great to reflect and to look back, especially when you're going on a soulful journey, as we are going to talk about today. Um, get your journal and start journaling about... You, actually, I was talking to somebody just recently about having multiple journals. I want to talk about your emotional journal, your spiritual journal, your financial journal, and just to track things. It's a great way to get where you want to go and get out of the minutia of getting caught up in your stuff. All right, today it's short and sweet. This is Soulful Saturday. Remember, if you haven't tuned in before, Monday is Mindful Monday where I give you a little checkup from the neck up. Wednesday is Hump Day Hustle where we talk about the body and how to drive yourself through the rest of the week and really take care of the temple. And today, Soulful Saturday is all about nourishing the soul with some food, food for the soul. All right, so today's topic, short and sweet, kiss. Keep it soulful and simple. That's what we're gonna talk about today. The major topics we're gonna talk about, life is simple. Number two, our addiction. And action, I never wanna just pump information into you, I wanna give you some action. Today's action is take inventory and intervention, create an intervention program. All right, so let's get started. All right, here's the deal, life is simple. And I know some people might push back at this when I say it, but it is true. Life is simple. I know there's a lot of things going on in your life. I'm human. Uh, and up to this point, my four decades of being alive and more, there's been a lot of stuff. But when you start to step back and think about life and the stuff I hear people struggle with and myself even at times, it's stuff we create. They're insignificant things. Most 90% of the things we think about and argue about is, it's really insignificant. The, now, if your health, if you're in some health crisis, that's significant, that's what you wanna save it for. And even then, if you've lived your life the right way up until now, life is unpredictable. But I figure if I lived it right, I, I don't, I'm not in fear of death. Everyone has to die at some point. So that's a real heavy stuff. But 90% of the rest of the stuff, we, have you, listen to the conversations that people are struggling with, especially today with social media. Our ego gets in the way and we really clutter life. Like we really put in a lot of extra things that doesn't even need to be there. So keep life simple, start to monitor. And you know what, I'm not even gonna get into it because that's the action steps. Let's move to the next one. Our addiction, here's our addiction, drama. We are stuck on drama. Everywhere is drama, CNN, constant negative news, the, the tweeting, the, there's so many means, Twitter, there's so many ways of getting TMZ, you can keep going, hip, world hip hop, all star, whatever it's called. All those things are feeding us with negative news. We tune in on them and all the drama, we are having an addiction for drama. I can't watch one TV show now without a little bit of drama put in. I'm watching an entertainment show, you name it. The uh, Voice, Dancing with the Stars, all the dance shows, I usually enjoy those, and those are inter those supposed to be entertainment, but a little package they'll create is someone dying or some drama to it where it draws you in. Can we not just watch the dance show and ent be entertained, go somewhere where it's just entertainment because there's enough drama? And I'm, and I'm mindful of those people's lives and the things that go on, but we all have stuff going on, and I wanna get away from a lot of this stuff out there, that's what's going on, so I watch these shows, and what happens is they insert the package and they're only using it as a way of drawing more, crowd, more of a attention. Instead of using it to help the person, they're using it more to draw attention to the show and draw ratings because we're addicted to drama. So I say get the drama out of your life. But anyways, here's the deal. Let's move on to the action step, take inventory. I want you to start to really listen to yourself, listen to others, and start to take inventory of what the content that's going in your head and what are you talking about, and the content and what it's doing to you. Really step back and start to listen to what you're, the constant thoughts that go through your head. They say we think 60,000 thoughts a day. A lot of them are negative. I'd say 90% of them are negative, and they're repeated negativity. 
things from years ago, decades ago, that we keep repeating and keep going over and things trigger it. And psychologists call it the Google dump where it attaches one thought, attaches itself to other things. And next thing you know, you're thinking all these negative thoughts. So I want you to start taking inventory and on the quality of your conversations, the quality of what you're listening to, the quality of your own thoughts, and then start to take note, journal, on what it's doing to you and how many times a day you keep repeating the same thoughts and see if you can imagine the energy you would save when you eliminate a 90 a lot half let's go for even 20 percent of that garbage that keeps rotating in your head and keeps the conversations you're tuning in on and the tweeting and the facebook's and the different things that you're getting coming at you all day long imagine how much energy you'd save Just think about that all right intervention program here's the intervention program that we're going to talk about Start to eliminate your addiction to these different sources that are coming in. If you see a news feed that has a headline of some glorified doom and glooms, don't read it. If you get uh, you know, automatic updates and notifications on things and you see a bad news item or something that instantly makes you, you know, want to go there and do the Google dump thing, don't go there. Start to do some intervention. Start to create, read great books that inspire you. Pray, meditate, go for runs. Break the habit, break the addiction. Do an intervention program and draw in some friends to help you do it. You'll help others when you do this as well. And create a company of people that all you're always talking about and being about where you're going and the great things are gonna happen in your life and then you can encourage and nourish greater relationships so that's the deal for this saturday lose the addiction kiss keep it soulful and simple and don't clutter your life up with the extra baggage and if you got extra time on your hands fill it with things that will nourish you and get you to where you want to go all right so this is alvin brown tchup.com journeypersonalgreatness.com give us a call we have a team of people here to help you mind body and soul Give us a call, and we're glad to help. Tune in to all our, subscribe to our YouTube channel, our website. I'm just here with one mission to help you to, I am passionate about helping you to get to your personal greatness. So with that, I'm gonna leave you with, be relentless, keep it soulful and simple, and be relentless about your pursuit for personal greatness.